Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my Takashi Murakami Louis Vuitton pieces. I'm going to read to you a little bit about Takashi Murakami and um, Louis Vuitton um, from my book Louis Vuitton Catalog. Just to give you guys a little bit of background information. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, the multi dollar Louis Vuitton print, maybe when you were younger, probably, you know, it would have been over 10 years ago now. And you might be even familiar with like the cherry blossom and the cherry prints. And so all that came from Takashi Murakami's kind of influence with uh, Louis Vuitton. The Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 2003 show presented exactly what the fashion industry was desiring at the time. Fun, as Kathy Horrell wrote in the New York Times. Um, Jacobs had chosen the Japanese artist Takashi Murakami to reinterpret the monogram canvas. I guess Mark Jacobs is just trying to bring something different to the table with Louis Vuitton, something fun, um, yeah, and optimistic. Yeah. Um, not only is the multicolor kind of nostalgic to me because I remember seeing it when I was little and kind of being like, wow, that's so cool. And obviously so many people saw it on celebrities as well um, in the early 2000s. And one of my first designer bags was a mini Speedy in the white multicolor, which I sold. Uh, <laughs> And I was kind of sad to sell it, so recently I purchased the black multicolor. I made friends with the girl in Melbourne. She was very nice to sell this to me. It's in really good condition as well. It's quite little, but it does fit my phone and it fits card holder. I've got a little organizer in here, just a felt one, just to keep the shape of the bag. And it came with a strap. I think, I'm not entirely sure if these actually came with straps or if the original person bought this separately, but this is my mini speedy. It's a bit of a novelty bag, but I think it's super cute. And yeah, it looks like that, but you could definitely just wear it. I usually just wear it like this. And uh, the leather here has actually, I think it's aged quite well, but originally would have been a lot lighter. Another piece I have from the multicolor line is this is called the Trueville bag. I purchased this from my friend as well. She showed me it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like the coolest bag. I don't know, I was going on this like Takashi Murakami phase and I still kind of am, but this is a really cute bag, guys. Like, it's not everyone's style, but it actually fits quite a lot. Um, and I've added a little um, Takashi Murakami flower here, which I didn't get in Japan, but I'm hoping to go to Japan again and go to the cafe because it looks like there's actually, yeah, I've seen there's a Takashi Murakami cafe. It looks super cool. Um, I've seen on YouTube anyway, so I, it's probably on my bucket list to visit that cafe one day. And you can get big pillows with this big flower and like all sorts, sorts of merchandise. Um, at the moment, I just have this little flower and um, my Louis Vuitton pieces, which I think are already pretty special. But yeah, you can see the detail and this is really cool. But um, there are so many different colors in this print as well. Uh, really, really cute colors. Um, and there's some gold hardware here on the corners. Again, the leather has gone a bit darker on the handles, but I think it's this one's aged quite nicely. Um, and yeah, I put a bag organizer again to keep the shape on the inside. Recently, I've been buying my organizers from this company called KD Australia, just because they're in Australia, so it's quite convenient for me. And they make a lot of organizers for like these kind of older styles, which I think is really unique. Next item I have is this little <laughs> multicolor piece. I think it's like a cosmetics bag. It's called the Wapiti Case. Random name. I'm not sure why it's called Wapiti. I could like use it with this. Could look kind of cool. But it fits some cards and some keys and a lipstick. Definitely not a phone, not even really a card holder. 
but it kind of reminds me of my white mini speedy that I used to have and yeah it's just nice to have I guess don't really need it but you don't really need all this Louboutin I just am crazy <laughs> the next item I have is um oh and I got this on eBay from a Japanese seller I got it in an auction I find um on eBay is you can probably get some of the best deals anyway this is a little heart that I also got on eBay it's a coin purse um, you can use it as a charm or you can use it as a, a purse for coins I guess I, to me it's kind of like more of a like an accessory I could add it to this could look quite cute but I guess I kind of just collected this ah oh, one more so that was all my multicolor pieces the pochettes are also really cool. There's like a bigger pochette um, in the multicolor that looks really awesome. And the speedies are also super popular. You can get this oh, multicolor. You can even get the um, the runway pieces had like eyes in the multicolor. I think they're a lot more expensive on the resale market. But I think they look like the coolest. But the other thing print I have from Takashi Murakami is the cherries. This is my Speedy 25 in the cherries print. Uh, I've just added this bandeau to the handle because I thought it looked quite cool. It has little mice on it and they're, they're holding like fruit. I just thought it looked funky with this. Um, this is pretty loved. I did actually get this from a seller on eBay. It's in pretty good condition. The canvas is not bad. There is a few chips on the side um, and the handles have darkened quite a lot. Not too ugly, but I think it's quite cute. It's hard to kind of find these for a good price and I think, yeah, I was looking for a while and it's probably like up there in my top three favorite handbags, which is pretty good. I've also got a bag organizer in there and this is really handy for work every day. Um, I haven't really attached a strap to it or anything because I just like to carry a top handle. Same with my Trueville. I just usually just carry it like this and I think it's quite cute. It's so cute guys and the colors are like super vibrant. It came with this little booklet and inside I'll read you what it says. I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, where is the page? Great story between Marc Jacobs and Japanese artist Takashi Murakami continues with this new line. Monogram Cerises created for the Spring Summer 2005 Women's Show. So this was created a few years after the multicolor line. And also, artist and creator Takashi Murakami is held to be one of the leading figures of Japanese neo-pop, whose imaginary world is steeped in manga culture. Famous for his colourful, cheery and enigmatic work, Takashi Murakami's fame has greatly increased thanks to acclaimed exhibitions. Marianne Bosky Gallery in New York, Gallery Emmanuel Perotin in Paris, Blum and Poe in Los Angeles. This is very interesting. Blah, blah, blah. What else is it saying here? <laughs> Ooh, I won't read all of this, guys, because I don't want to blab on too long. But basically, uh, it's saying here, uh, the pattern gives freshness and cheerfulness with its different attitudes, laughter, surprise, and amazement. It is also the complex technical process of achieving these cherry patterns that should be highlighted. Today, Louis Vuitton uses the latest innovations in serigraphy to obtain the result. Saying that more than 15 different pigments are used to obtain the bright and shimmering colors of the cherry, which in addition to the precision is a great accomplishment. Finally, the gradation of the colors requires a technique, a technique inherited from the ceramics industry that has never been used in leather goods. An extremely sharp graphic is what results in this intricate multi-layering of colors. Thanks to the amazing technique, your product is one of a kind. And then it's saying that the pattern may slightly fade, revealing the canvas background um, eventually, which is true. Cause um, as I said at the sides, it's starting to come out a bit. 
but yeah, yeah it's really interesting the way that they kind of printed this and it sounds in the description like it was kind of very innovative so that's interesting so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i don't have anything for the cherry blossoms but that looks really cute too um but my favorite's probably the cherries and the multicolor i think they're super cute so anyway thanks for listening guys see you next time bye